Hi again, this is Cooking with Mrs. G. I'm Rachel Gokoloski and we are in a hemlock forest. This is the time of the year for the hemlock reishi or the Ganoderma suge. And we have a downed hemlock here. We had a lot of storms in the past year. We had a lot of big trees down. Um, I know this is a hemlock forest because I have been here since last fall where I saw some old ones from the previous years. And so right now, this is mid-June, a great time to look for the hemlock reishi. You want to look for dead or dying or recently dead hemlock trees. If, they're, if they've been dead for too long, then there's not enough lignin to break down. As you can see, this tree is pretty covered. Okay, so we've got some hemlocks in different stages of development here. This is a great one uh, for medicinal value. You could just trim off this white edge and use it for eating. They're great in soups and stews. This one has, doesn't have much of the um, tender outside anymore, so this is just gonna be for medicinal value. Notice that the underside is white. If you find hemlock reishis and the underside is not white, if it's yellow, um, especially if it has some really cool blue looking stuff growing on the underside, that means that it's too old. It's probably from recent years, uh, um, past years, and it's not collectible. Here's a really young one where you get a good portion of it would be edible. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to collect these um, and use them for medicine. You can make tea, you can make tinctures, you can make tonics, and uh, the reishi has a numerous benefits, cancer-fighting, antibacterial, antiviral, um, also anti-anxiety. Um, so there's a lot of well-being involved with this mushroom, and it's highly, highly beneficial. So again, this is Rachel Gokloski with Cooking with Mrs. G and the Hemlock Reishi.